Hey guys, a welcome to your 2024 prediction reading. This is going to be for Libra. Um, so um, we're going to take a look and see what you guys need to know for 2024. We're going to go through each month to see what you guys need to know. Um, this could be in any, re any replacements. Anything could come up. We're not focusing on anything. So keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective, um, for the collective, um, Libra people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to, um, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos is posted, when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. I do also post readings on there too. So, tell me about Libra. Libra for 2024. What's going on with Libra for 2024? Tell me about Libra in 2024. Tell me about Libra in 2024. Starting with January. Tell me about Libra in 2024. Starting with January. Okay, tell about Libra in January 2024. So we have the Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. We have the Judgment card, Sagittarius, Energy, and the Strength card here. Seems, it seems like you guys are definitely seeking some sort of purpose in life here, Libra. Yeah, you know, one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like, um, you know, I feel like you're being patient with the process here. Uh, you know, I feel like some, some of you guys have been really lost, you know, uh, you know what you're meant to do uh, if you're doing the right thing here. And I feel like the answers are coming to you. You just have to really listen here because I feel like your guides and your angels and your ancestors are definitely uh, coming in strongly to sort of help you out here. Okay, so uh, uh, Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Um, I don't know why I'm reading out the signs. I don't really need to. Yeah, uh, because this is more so for you. Um, so uh, tell me about Libra in uh, February 2024. We have the Ten of Wands here. We have the Pate, Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. I'm reading out the signs again. We have Temperance, Sag, Cheers, Energy. So what we have here is I feel like you guys are definitely on a path of healing here. Releasing all your burdens and your pain and your trauma that you've been holding on to. Maybe that's the intuitive hit that you're getting from the universe. Maybe that's the intuitive hits that you're getting from your guides and your angels and your ancestors here. So I feel like, you know, I feel like a lot of guys are definitely beginning your healing process here. Uh, some of you guys have been putting it off for a long time and I feel like you guys are ready. You guys are ready to make this change in your life here. You know, I feel like you guys are ready to sort of, sort of like break some sort of karmic cycle here, okay? Or some sort of generational curse. What else do we have here? for Libra, March 2024. We have the Lovers here. We have the Empress Libra Taurus here and the Ace of Pentacles. There could be a new opportunity in love here. This love situation that's coming into your life here, I do feel like there will be prosperity here. Could be meeting your soulmate here in March. Yeah, could be meeting your soulmate in March and I feel like you're meeting this person through your work. I feel like some of you guys might work in real estate or something like that. Maybe that's how you, you'll meet this person uh, through your contacts, through your connections and stuff like that. Tell me about Libra in uh, April 2024. We have the Ten of Swords, we have the Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and uh, 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 King of Wands here. Okay. There is someone that you're leaving behind here, okay? There's someone that you left behind a long time ago, and I feel like in April, someone here is definitely coming back around to apologize for betraying you here. We have the King to the Queen of Wands. Yeah, whoever this person is, this person betrayed you a long time ago. Uh, perhaps in January, they're trying to come in to reconcile, but it doesn't work out. You just cut them off, uh, but they're going to try again in April, okay? Tell me about Libra in May. We have the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Queen of Swords, Libra, Grace, Gemini, and the Knight of Pentacles here. When it comes to your work situation here in uh, May, things are going super, super, super well. Yeah, I feel like guys are working really hard. Uh, you know, I feel like you guys are putting in extra hours. I don't know. I, you guys are working overtime. So I, I do feel like some of you guys could be getting extra pay at this time here. So how about Libra in June? With the Four of Cups here with the King of Swords and the Three of Wands. Okay. King to Queen of Swords. King to Queen of Wands. Um, there's an ongoing situation, ongoing saga that you've been dealing with this individual. Some of here is definitely coming back around to try again to apologize, to reconnect with you here. Some of here is not seeing a future here without you. I feel like this has been an ongoing thing here in 2024, uh, 2023, and it'll go into most of 2024, I feel, okay? Tell me about Libra in July with the Wheel of Fortune, with the Eight of Cups, and the Hierophant here. So big changes in July 
if you are dealing with a situation, especially a romantic situation where it's been an on and off situation, you know, very in and out, you know, I feel like you're about to walk away from this for good and really basically do the right thing for yourself here and really truly begin your healing process here, Libra. Uh, Libra in uh, August, we have the Death card, we have the Ten of Cups and the Star card. I feel like uh, by this time, I feel like, you, you know, I feel like you guys have been getting a lot of messages, a lot of synchronicities about your relationship here. And I feel like you're finally going to put a pin on it. You're, yeah, you're cut, finally going to end this relationship here. You know, one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like throughout 2024, you guys are going to go through multiple spiritual awakenings here. Yeah, I feel like this is going to be a hard year for you, especially when it comes to ro romance. Yeah, especially when it comes to romance, because I feel like, you know, you should, there is a situation that you've been in. I feel like you should have ended things with this person, let this person go a long time ago. And I feel like you're finally going to do it sometime in the summertime. Yeah. So uh, tell me about Libra in September with the Emperor. We have the uh, Knight of Wands. We have the Four of Swords here. You know, I feel like you're going to be dealing with somebody new in March, but this is going to be an ongoing thing here. Yeah, um, you got to be careful here. You're meeting someone new. You're meeting a, soul, a soulmate here. And you're still kind of like tied up with this past situation here. And I feel like this person's going to run off because of that. Yeah, this person's going to run off because of that. The Emperor, the Knight of Wands, and the Four of Swords. Yeah, you're meeting a soulmate in March. And this is all still going on with this past person. And I feel like this new person's going to run off by September if you, got, if you continue to talk to this person or deal with this person or hold on to this past person here. Tell me about Libra in October with the Ace of Cups here and the Five of Wands and the Six of Cups. Wow. Someone here is definitely ruining your relationship here. Your past. Yeah. And I feel like you, some of you guys might even allow it to happen. Some of you guys might even allow it to happen. So uh, I, I'm seeing some sort of reconciliation with the past here. I'm seeing some sort of reconciliation with the past. Uh, Libra, I feel like you might have a hard time letting someone from your past, uh, letting f go of someone from your past. Yeah, even if there's someone new, better coming in, somehow this is th this is a bit of a cluster. Yeah, uh, tell me about Libra in November. We have the Devil, we have the Six of Wands, we have the Sun card, Leo Energy. There's definitely a, a resistance to change here. Now, this could be the person that you're dealing with or that this could be you. Yeah, I just feel like someone here just has a hard time letting go. Um, I do feel like someone here deals with an obsessive compulsive disorder here. Um, this is interesting. So I feel like someone here is about to be diagnosed with that in November. Yeah, this is interesting. I feel like someone here is also on the spectrum of some sort of Asperger um, uh, 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 or some sort of neurodivergent here. Yeah. So tell me about Libra in December. We have the Queen of Cups. We have the Worlds. We have the King of Pentacles here. By December 2024, I feel like you're finally going to end things with this past person. Yeah. I feel like you're finally going to end this, things with this past person. You know, what? The, how does that saying go? You know, I, you know, it's better to be single than to be in a relationship that you're unhappy in. And I feel like you've been ha unhappy with this person for a very long time. And I feel like it's just been hard for you to let go and put a pin on this. And, you know, because I, I feel like it might have something to do with, you know, how you grew up. Uh, kind of like mirroring your parents, you know. Uh, even though your parents were married together, they were unhappy with each other. They just stuck together. And I feel like you might have learned this from them. Yeah. Um, no matter like how painful or how hurtful in staying in that relationship, you, you know, you just have to stay. It might be a traditional thing. Yeah. So Libra, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.